Antonia here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious frittata in the Arga. A frittata is a lovely quick and easy lunchtime dish or a lovely light supper served with a nice green salad. The great thing about a frittata is that you can use whatever ingredients you have to hand provided you have eggs of course. I am going to make a ham, pea and potato frittata as I know that it's something that all the family will eat and enjoy. But you can make your filling as elaborate or as simple as you like according to what ingredients you have to hand. I quite often make one with salmon, peas and spring onions. That's a really delicious combination. Uh, roasted vegetables as well are delicious in a frittata. Roasted courgettes, red peppers and roasted onion as well make a really good filling. Um, you can just keep it very simple, a bit of bacon and um, perhaps some onions. Really whatever you have to hand works really well. I'm going to start making my frittata by cooking some potatoes. I've got a pan of water just coming to the boil here with a couple of potatoes in. Um, Frittata is a great way to use leftover vegetables. So if you have a few too many potatoes from the night before or some leftover veg from your Sunday roast, do use those. Unfortunately, I haven't got any to hand, so I'm having to cook the potatoes from scratch. But that's a good reason to show you um, how to do this best of all in an aga. I'm going to finish cooking them in the simmering oven rather than having the boiling plate lid open for 20 minutes or so while they uh, cook through. I'm just going to bring them to the boil here, um, cook them for a, a few minutes, three or four minutes. I'm then going to drain out all of the water and put them on the floor of the simmering oven to finish steaming. Um, it's a really easy way to cook all root vegetables actually uh, in the arga. So you can do the same with carrots or uh, celeriac or parsnips um, and it saves losing heat by having the arga tops up and it also saves space as well if you want to use the tops for other things. So my potatoes are boiling away there on the boiling plate. I would say they've been bubbling away for about three to four minutes and they're now ready to go into the simmering oven. So what I'm going to do is take them off the heat and I'm going to drain all of the water out of the pan. Here we go. Like so. Oh, there it goes. I'm then going to put my ovenproof pan onto the floor of the simmering oven where the potatoes will continue to steam until they're ready. I can then shut the boiling plate lid, conserving heat in the ovens. I've taken the potatoes out of the simmering oven now. After about 15 minutes, they were just tender and I took them out, cooled them for a little while and then sliced them into small bite-sized chunks. Um, I have got eggs, of course, the most important ingredient. I'm just making a smallish frittata today using four eggs. Um, but for a family of four, I'd probably suggest using about six eggs um, and a slightly larger pan than the one I'm going to use. I'm just using this small one here. I've then got some ham, about 100 grams. I'm using ham hock. Uh, I really like that, but you can use any ham uh, that you may have. About 50 grams of frozen peas. No need to pre-cook those. They will cook fine in the frittata. I've got a few fresh chives, just to give a little bit of extra flavour. And finally, a bit of mature cheddar cheese, which I've grated and I'm just going to sprinkle on the top at the end to give a nice brown top uh, to my frittata. I'm going to cook the frittata in the roasting oven. I think this is a really good way to do a frittata in the Arga. I'm going to use the floor of the roasting oven to initially cook the omelette and set the bottom. I'll then sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top and move it right up to the top where the really high heat at the top of the agar will grill the top and leave it lovely and brown and also just finish cooking uh, the eggs from the top as well. So I'm now ready to cook the frittata. In the roasting oven, on the floor of the roasting oven, I have my pan with a little bit of oil and butter which are just melting and the pan is getting nice and hot 
Uh, it's a great way to do this if you want to minimise the amount of time you have your lids open. If you have an older Argo, you may find that when the lids are open, you lose quite a bit of heat from your ovens. Um, the newer versions, this is less of a problem, but it's a nice little tip anyway. I always preheat my pans uh, in the bottom of the, the roasting oven in any case. So that should be ready to go now. So I will lift the lid of the simmering plate, put the pan out, remembering that the handle will be hot. There we go, yes, the butter is foaming away nicely there. And I'm going to start by adding my potatoes. So in the potatoes go, there we are. Spread them about nicely in the pan so that they cover the base. There we are. See if you can see there. Great. I'm then going to add my eggs over the top. And I'm going to sprinkle over my other ingredients. So I've got my ham here. In it goes. There we are. Probably don't need quite all of that. And my peas, they just go in frozen like that. Spread them about. And my little sprinkling of chives. There we go. And then with a spatula, just gently mix everything together and just spread it out so that it's evenly spaced, like so. And I'm now going to put that on the floor of the roasting oven to cook. So there we go. In it goes. There we are. And I'll leave that there for about two to three minutes before taking it out, sprinkling the cheese on and finishing off the top. The frittata has been in the oven on the bottom of the roasting oven for about four or five minutes now. And I'm now going to take it out and sprinkle some cheese on before cooking the top. So let's have a look. Yes, that's lovely and set round the edges and almost through to the middle, but still undercooked on the top. So what we'll do, I'll just pop it there for a moment, is sprinkle the cheese on top. You don't have to top your frittata with cheese, it just depends uh, what fillings you've chosen. You can put cheese into the mixture if you prefer. Um, dill, courgette and feta is a really nice combination, in which case you'd have no need to sprinkle extra cheese on top afterwards, but you will still need to grill the top just to cook the frittata all the way through and have a nice brown top as well. So there we are, lots of cheese on top. And I'm now going to get this as close as possible to the top of the roasting oven. I've put my grid shelf on the second runners as I know that I can squeeze this pan in um, up near the top. Um, if I have the grid shelf on, on the second runners. You may find, depending on your pan, you need to have the shelf on the third runners. Um, it does just depend what kind of pan you're, you're using. Um, that then will almost grill the top. The very top of the roasting oven is very, very hot. And after about three minutes or so, uh, this will be perfectly cooked and should be nice and brown on top as well. So let's move it up to the very top to finish the cooking. So in it goes, there we go, lovely. And we'll have a look at it in a few minutes time. It's time to get the frittata out of the oven. Uh, the top has been grilling for about five minutes now. Um, and so it should be cooked all the way through and ready to enjoy. Let's have a look. Ooh, bubbling away that looks super so if you can see there lovely and cooked nice and golden brown on top a delicious lunchtime frittata with ham peas potatoes and chives <laughs>